Hello, I'm at Super George, and I'm so blessed to be bringing God's truth to you today. Hey, wherever you are watching this, today is going to be a great day for you because the hand of the Lord is already resting on you and He will bring good things to you today. Praise God. All right, before we go into today's broadcast, can we call for that daily bread? Hey, do this with joy because something good is coming your way today. I know, I know. Praise God. I Kabaya. Join me right now. Say, Father, I demand right now and I receive from your hands my daily bread. It's coming to me now in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Oh, glory to God. Listen, pay attention. Pay close attention because your life is about to change. Glory to God. Now, we've been talking about the most important thing. The most important thing. And we found out from scriptures, he told us wisdom is the principal thing. Now, we've been talking since Monday about the character of wisdom. That's what we're looking at. And then we're in Proverbs chapter 8. Praise God. Oh, listen, if, if you're just joining or if you're just listening, go listen from Monday. Everything is there on YouTube. That's why I encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And hey, beyond subscribing, put on that notification button. So whenever a message drops, you will be notified that, hey, the words have come. And hey, it's a good way to start your day. And remember to share with others also. Praise God. Now, we've been looking at different things. And, and yesterday, we, we got to this point where we realized wisdom cannot release any wicked information or wicked thing. Wisdom can never suggest any wicked thing for you to do. Now, that's how you know you are not receiving wisdom. If the thoughts come into your heart, it doesn't matter what anyone has done to you. Wisdom says it's an abomination. It says, wickedness is an abomination to my lips. So I would never suggest or command or tell you to do something that will be wicked. Wisdom is saying it's an abomination. So take note of that. It's an abomination. All right, let's go on now. We're in Proverbs chapter 8, and then we, we're in verse 8 now. Praise God. It says, All the words of my mouth are with righteousness. Are you seeing the character? Now, I was talking, I think I, I talked about this last week during the live broadcast that we had. And I said, The way God speaks to us, it's the same way you hear the voice of Satan. It's the same way you hear the voice of angels. The same. How do you differentiate between the voice of God, between the voice of the devil, between the voice of an angel? How do you differentiate? The content will tell you. It is the content that will make you know who's speaking to you. So if you don't observe the content, you model everything up and say, and sometimes there are people who an angel will speak to those says God that has spoken to them. Now, yes, angels are supposed to speak with the authority of God that God has given to them. Angels are supposed to tell us what God has told them. But we know from scriptures that angels sometimes do their own thing. Now, not because they mean evil. Yeah, they do their thing. They bring suggestions. They do. Now, that's why Jesus specifically... Oh, mani kabu saikari. Jesus, when he was talking about the Holy Spirit, he said something very, very striking. He says, he will not speak of himself. Why did Jesus say that? The Holy Spirit, when he speaks to you, he will not speak of himself. Jesus said he will take of mine and he will reveal to you. Now that's because sometimes angels bring their own suggestions. Now it doesn't mean those suggestions will line up perfectly with God's will. 
We talked about that last week in, in the live broadcast. So you can go to our YouTube channel and search for all the things we talked about last week. One of the day, several of the days we, we touched on angels and their role in, in nations and all those things. Go listen to those things. They will help you. Because sometimes people get confused and they say, God told me. But then something happened along the way. It's not God that spoke to you. Mostly, most times, you hear the voice of an angel. And then especially when, oh, especially when, and, and most Christians do this without realizing. When you approach God through sorcery, people go to God by sorcery. Balaam did it. Balaam was a man of God. He was a prophet of God. Yet, three times he approached God through sorcery. And the Bible said in, in chapter 24, verse 1, when he saw that it pleased God to bless the people of Israel, he decided not to approach God through sorcery again. And he approached God plainly. plainly. How did he approach God through sorcery? That's another day stop. Yes, yes, no, if, if I step in there, I'm going to miss what we're talking about today. Praise God. So now, we, we are talking about the most important thing. It says, all the words of my mouth are with righteousness. All, not some, all the words of my mouth are with righteousness. Nothing crooked or perverse in them. Wow. Who's been talking to me? Find out. <laughs> you need to find out. Who have been talking to me? Who told me that I should do that wicked thing to that person as a retaliation? Uh-huh. Find out. This is wisdom now. Wisdom says, <laughs> nothing crooked or perverse is in them. In what? In my words. They are all plain to him who understands. Ah, Kalebo Sombreniga, Zaikonia. My words are plain to the one who understands. Meaning, the one who understands, the words will be laced in parables. Mm, there is something God said. I'm not catching it to. Hey, he said, My words shall be plain to the one who understands. Hey, look at what he says next. And write to them who find knowledge. Uh -huh. You know, sometimes I've been in those situations. Now you're trying to explain God's mind or, or the scripture to someone. And they go, I don't understand what you're saying. Now when they say, I don't understand what you're saying, why don't you understand? It? It's, it's plain, it's simple. Most times you find out that religious people have been blinded I'm telling you the truth. And you must check yourself for that. Most times, it happens when we read the Bible. Sometimes you carry the Bible to read. And as you're reading, you know, I, I was talking to someone um, recently. And we we're talking about something. And, and then we, we said, look, you hardly, when you, when you write something, an article, and you're reading it, most likely you may not see some silent mistakes. You may not see why. So you need someone else to read it and point out some mistakes to you. Why? Even though those mistakes can be plain there, maybe typographical error, except it's so plain that it changes the words. But then sometimes, because you are reading your mind, because you're the author, so you're reading your mind in that article. So you just pass it without realizing that there was a mistake in the typing of that thing or in the writing of that thing. You see that? Now, so it's the same thing with, with most people that have been blinded by religion. So you are used to a particular way of reasoning. And someone comes and says, hey, this is the truth. Now, not to seduce you, but, but then someone's showing you something. I say, I've met people who are shared and say, well, hmm, this thing looks right too, but my pastor have not shared it with us. Okay. So because your pastor have not shared it with you, what, what next? Um, okay. 
Um, let's leave it. Why don't you go study it? Uh, no, see, I don't want to confuse myself. <laughs> now, you see, they are blinded by what they are used to. They are blinded by what they have been hearing. But wisdom says, they are, my words are plain to him who understands and right to those who find knowledge. Now, you're sharing with church people and they're like, man, this thing, eh? And then you're sharing with someone else that is not that is not in that um, that religion and has not given himself to religion like the others now. And you're sharing this thing. And the person, do you know you're making sense? I, I mean, really, you, you're actually making sense because this, this, this. Now that that that's what wisdom is saying. The people who go after knowledge, his words are plain to them. But the people who have blinded their minds with religion. It can never be plain to them. They will tell you, oh, look, you know what? Say, forget it. I don't want all this. I don't want to dabble into some, some kind of things. Yeah. Even when you're sharing truth with them. That's why it says, it's important to go for knowledge. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Mm. Verse 10 says, receive my instruction and not silver. Wisdom is speaking. Instead of going for silver, stay where you will receive my instruction. And this is one place that we, we make decisions day by day. Why don't you wake up in the morning to pray? Ah, I have to get to work. Why don't you wake up earlier? Ah, you know, my sleep. Okay, so you don't want to be late at going to work, right? Yeah. Why? Ah, because if I go late, I'll lose my job. And then when you lose your job, what happens? You get another job. Ah, before I get another job, I don't know. So what are you afraid of? Eh, they'll stop paying me. So, silver. Hmm. So, you will do everything to be at work on time. But you can't sacrifice to spend time with wisdom. Can you see? You can wake up at 5 a.m. So, you meet work at 8 a.m. So, you wake up at 5, set an alarm for 5. Now, before you got this job, do you wake up that early? No. Now you've gotten a job, you have to report at 8 a.m. Ah, what do I do? What, okay, I'll set an alarm. Okay, I'll set an alarm. Yeah, the alarm, I'll, I'll, I'll put the alarm to wake me up at 6. No, 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 at 5. Yes, 5. So that I'll finish when I'm in and I'll get to work. Say, okay, so now you set an alarm for 5. Yes. Do you spend time to pray? Uh, no. Why? Because I have to get to work early. You have to get to work early. Okay. So... What if you wake maybe earlier, 20 minutes before 5? Ah, no, 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 it will disturb my sleep. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, you were wake, used to waking up at 8 a.m. before. Because you got a job, you pushed back your wake up time to 5 a.m. so that you can meet up the job. And now, you are being advised. Why don't you shift your time again so you can have time to spend with wisdom? No. It's going to affect my sleep. You know what you're doing? You love silver more than wisdom. It's as simple as that. Now he says, receive my instruction and not silver. Go for my instruction. Is he saying don't go for silver? I said, no, 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 no. If you have to choose, go for my instruction. You still see the reason. And knowledge rather than choice gold. Go for what knowledge is he talking about? The knowledge I will bring to you. See, when you receive his instruction, you will find knowledge. 
Yeah. This is how it works. Wisdom tells you what to do. Naturally, your mind will, ah, it cannot be done. Uh, why? Okay. He will not tell us to do what we cannot do. Yep. So for him to tell me to do this, it means it can be done. Yep. So I need to apply my mind on how to get it done. And in demonstrating or moving about how to get it done, I begin to find out that social thing exists and social person exists. And so I'm like, whoa. Now what's going on? Knowledge is coming. See that? Knowledge is coming. And by the time I'm done with that project, I have gained knowledge. I have come in contact with certain people that I have their contact now that I can help others who go through the same paths. You see that now? So now you see, he says, receive knowledge rather than choice good because his instruction will bring knowledge. The Lord tells you to do something. Oh, it's impossible. Uh -uh, Uh-uh, uh-uh. Find who can do it. As you are finding, as he that seeks will find. As you begin to seek who can do it, as you begin to seek who can agree with you, you will find. And when you find, it becomes knowledge to you. And when you find that knowledge, cherish it. Don't discard it for gold. And that's why people are not being able, Christians now, are not being able to have this continuous successful life because they did not get the knowledge that brought them to that place. It always the grace of God. How did the grace of God do it? Take note of these things. Let's just end in verse 11. For wisdom is better than rubies and all the things one may desire cannot be compared with her. time is up <laughs> oh glory 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 yes then you you as i am sharing these words with you you your heart is opening up to wisdom hey i, I pray you will find her and find her now thank you holy spirit i give you praise lord feel the heart of everyone today In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise God. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye.